this is more up to your your liking. Gerber. There you go. No <laughs> like you. Know. Gerbers. Or Gregory Mantel. <laughs> The guys were eating Gerber. Do you ever yeah. eat Gerber? No. I just have to ask that. That's for babies. I was saying, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Today, if you think your busy career and life prevent you from having a great body, you're wrong. Chris Wolf and James Ellis tell you how you can balance work and working out, even if you're putting in 60-hour weeks at the office. And later in the show, fitness model Tony Catanzaro, straight off all those romance novel covers, and his wife Tina join us. But up first, Chris Wolf and James Ellis. Great to have you here today, Chris. Thank you very much for having James, us. James, welcome back. I think you've done the show a few times now. Yeah, yeah. It's been yeah. a while, but you're back. We got you here on the cover of exercise and health that's right and also on the cover of reps yeah. she's looking very shredded <laughs> on both of them well that's not you on the back but, on the, but you're looking very shredded on this one in particular i mean both of them but uh, wow so uh and i think you look bigger than last time too from yeah yeah i've uh, i've definitely uh you know put some size on um what does that mean how much do you weigh I was probably last time I was on the show, I would guess I was probably around 175, somewhere in that range. Um, and uh, for the cover of that Reps magazine, I was probably close to 190. 190, and, 20 uh, pounds. The exercise and health, I was just under 180. So uh, as you can see, the size, the size yeah, is quite yeah. a bit different on those, and, and both of those magazines uh, actually, you know, One's more for you know close to the natural bodybuilding, and the other one's for the fitness model. So or you know exercise and health. You know so as you can see just by the names reps. You know it talks about heavy weight kind of thing, and then exercise and health is more health. But uh, now I'm 185. So 185. I'm like right smack dab in the middle. And what percentage of body fat do you think? Um, I, you know I really don't. I do the mirror test. I, I don't really hmm. do body fat percentages. Two percent. <laughs> I would guess around six to eight, something like that. You know probably six ish. So. And what about you, Chris? How much do you weigh? I mean, I'm, I'm about one, 192 right now, so I weigh a little bit more. 190 also or 192? Is, I weigh 192. <laughs> <laughs> so 192 it's crazy that I weigh too. like okay. two pounds more than him, but I look like half his size. So like he's like, he's not six to eight percent body fat. Like I'm six to eight percent body fat, and that's why I'm fat next to him. <laughs> but you're now, are you? You're the same height, or you're are you slightly? I, I'm, I'm six to, foot, so I'm a little bit, a little yeah. bit taller. Okay, and James, how tall are you? I'm about five ten and a half. Five, five ten and a half. half. Okay, because just because for acting, I'm six foot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell anybody. <laughs> when when I act, I'm seven foot. So. I, I was just trying but to wear platforms. Yeah. No, you just act seven platforms. foot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. But um, I, I just was mentioning because that explains maybe some of the that, that, that explains why you look so puny next to him. <laughs> exactly. I know. I know. Thank you for pointing that out. Now I'm gonna go home and binge. So thank you. <laughs> I'm not trying to put any pressure on. But you have the gallon of water under your That's chair right. too. That's right. And, and so, just, uh, you know, I'm gonna just bust out my other food that I brought. What, you you know, like, whole it's like Actually, yeah. I'm hungry. Can I have some? Of this? Absolutely. I, I've, I've been known to eat during the show. This is. I told him earlier. I said someone's going to bring food today. I've been waiting for someone. You know, we had Max Westheim in earlier, and he didn't bring any damn food. But at least you guys brought some food. Do you, do you mind so if thank I, you. Can I feed the cameraman here? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, I yeah just, he liked it. He caught it too. That's I know how good. to treat people right. But actually, this is good. I'm glad that you brought this up. Like, as my mouth is full. But you know, these are. I'm chewing during the whole interview. Yeah, That's okay. I bought I bought whole almonds. I keep in my car. You know, this is a three pound bag. You don't have to buy a three pound bag, but um, they don't have any salt on them. So if you're gonna buy, yeah, at first I was kind of bummed by that, but now I'm adjusting. They yeah, actually, they taste good. They're, they're natural. They're natural without. Right. It's healthier to have them without the salt. So if you're gonna go out and buy them, buy them without the salt. It's a big bag too. Yeah. Yeah. Three pound bags. I bought mine at Sam's. How many calories are these? Can I can eat a lot of them. I wouldn't, well, eat, I wouldn't eat the whole bag in a day, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I'm wondering if it's in the car, though, if yeah. I keep them. Um, no, if you keep you in the car. How, like, how long does the bag last, so I guess this one? For me, like a couple of days, but no, it, it like probably lasts for like a few weeks. But, you know, for me, like, yeah, you got to make sure you don't you don't eat the whole bag. Because you're sitting there in your car, you're sitting at a traffic light, and you next thing you know you've eaten half the bag. Yeah. So it's like, it's, you got you to gotta limit yourself. Like, even it's like with, a, one even handful. With saltless almonds, you still have to balance. You gotta you still go. balance it out. It's all about balance. Yep. Well, and that leads us into our topic, which was, you know, 
Now you also, I should say, you're a sales rep for a, a medical, what am I trying to say, a pharmaceutical company or a medical sales rep? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do medical sales and that's okay. my, my full-time job. And you claim you work insane hours, like 60 hours a week? I you, don't believe I mean, right. actually he, I'm working. He tells me he works 60 hours a week. I'm even, you know, right right after this, I'll be going to... Uh, so are we holding you up? Is that what you're trying to imply? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, I'm a busy work? man, you know, I got a lot of stuff I so got to do. thanks for fitness so. in your busy schedule. <laughs> yeah, and I'll, I'll leave you, you a few more hours. What are you going to do though? Well, I just got, you know, I, tonight I got like just, uh, you know, just some, some, some work events and... People see, places to go. Yeah, they're just basically like, it, it doesn't end. Like, you know, I always got work during the day and then I got paperwork at night. I'm sure just like everybody else out there, you know? You're on the Crackberry 24-7? I'm on the Crackberry 24-7. And Which was helpful, actually, when we were discussing the show. You would actually answer me back. But I figured, well, he's on that damn Crackberry all the time anyway, so. Yeah, you know, I would be taking phone calls during this interview, so. <laughs> but you weren't getting any sales out of it, unfortunately. I'm not. But that's another story. <laughs> yeah, this is costing me right now. This is costing me. Well, it's all for the better good of humanity, right? Absolutely. That's why I'm here. We're, we're here to help out a bunch of people today. Now, you work long hours, too, but you are, you're in the fitness industry, not doing so much the corporate thing, but you're just... Mr. Fitness all the time, huh? Yeah, that's right. Um, a lot of the, you know, put a lot of hours in the gym uh, lately, you know, since I've been leaning out more, um, you know, I've been putting two days in, go to the gym in the morning. I've been going, uh, putting 30 minutes to an hour on the elliptical, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'll go in there at 6.30 in the morning, do my cardio, go back in the evening. Around, you know, six, seven days a week, I do weight training in the evening. So okay. spending a lot, a lot of time in the gym, um, and uh, I actually just got engaged to the gym, so I'm really excited oh. about that. Well, congratulations. Um, when yeah, did you get married? So, well, you know, we, we haven't set a date yet, but, you know, <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time with her in there, you know, so oh, I, wow. you know, the gym's good. Are you engaged to the gym, too? <laughs> I prefer to call her Jimena, but, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hmm. I, I, We're learning more all the time. <laughs> right. You know, actually, I wake up in the morning sometimes and, like, James and our Twitter friends. I guess we're gonna be Twitter friends with yeah. you too, right? Yeah. yeah. Do we follow each other on Twitter? I don't. I don't even know. You I'm too. not able. Do you no, have a Twitter I, account? I, I. Oh. Oh. See, he uh -oh. just asked me if I have one. Boy, that tells you how that good a friend he is. That means I'm not following. <laughs> that means I'm not following. Great. Yes, I have a Twitter account at Gregory Mantel. There we go. There we, okay, we'll give you at your Twitter handles. How's um, that? I'm uh, J at James Ellis three. So. James the, Ellis the, three. The what three. I'm James, I'm James Ellis the third. So. Oh, okay. So there are two James more Ellis of you. III. I mean, on. Well, there might be, but I'm. I'm your actually, family. It's. it's yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And all the Chris Wolfs got to take it up. So I'm Christopher Wolf. With a K. With do you, a K. Would you prefer Christopher? No. Heck no. I can call you Definitely Christopher. Not. If that's. Uh, you. I mean, it's proper. It makes me feel professional. Well, you know. We'll go back. Like you feel like a parent, like my mom or my dad. So just you yeah. know, if you're like, if I say something wrong, just call me Christopher Wolf. Okay, Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you go by Gregory instead of Greg. Yeah, I well, yeah. I don't know. I don't care. You know, some people are really defensive. I don't care. You can call me Greg and call me Gregory. I don't know. We yeah. put it on the wall. Yeah, there you go. You know, I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> but, but I was the gist of the reason why I was bringing up the Twitter thing is because sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and you know I'm usually in like a comatose state. Oh, really? And it's yeah. <laughs> I, well, yeah. Like I'm not a morning person. You know, do you just? Oh, pop that, that's up in okay. The it's just because of that. Yeah, so I just like, I look on my phone. It's not like you were drinking the night before or something. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm like, just like, I wake up in the morning and I'm seeing like James is posting on his Twitter that he's at the gym doing cardio at 6.30 in the morning. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, I guess I got to go up and do cardio in the morning now. So what, what time do you normally head to the gym then? So I'll usually head in like around, I'll get there around 7 or so. And I'll just, I only will spend about 20, 30 minutes. I think he does like 45 minutes of cardio. But I'll do about 20 or 30 minutes, run back, take a shower, head off to, to work. Yeah. Okay, hold that thought. We'll be right back. And we are back with James Ellis and Christopher Wolf today. Christopher, can I? Have, I want some more of those almonds, Christopher. You want some? I got. Yeah. Some, you know what? I got something else for you. And this, you got, I feel like this is more up to your your liking. Gerber. <laughs> there you go. There's your treat and snack hey, for the day. Now I should be offended, Gerber. <laughs> but you actually you live on Gerber. Is that what you're telling? You eat Gerber sweet potatoes? Well, it's it's kind of funny. I you know I can always I open it? you can open it. Yeah. Sometimes you, you can just drink no out of it. You know, like you know. <laughs> You know, is that what you? No, not usually, but 
Did just, you actually drink I'm it? I'm just saying, I did just drink so <laughs> Is it good? What does it taste like? Well, it, it, that's what I was surprised by. You know, when I was talking to one of my buddies, I was like, man, like, because I always bring food in my car. So I was like, to eat sweet potatoes in your car, it Me makes too, a mess. I'm always eating or drinking in the car. I think that's like... I, I eat. That's what I do in the cars. I eat and drink. <laughs> yeah, so you, you got to have some healthy options in there. One of my buddies like oh. Gerber and almonds. Yeah, so he was basically just saying that he had uh, ba sweet potato baby food. So I went to the grocery store. I was like looking around everywhere, and I finally like grabbed some. And then I had some, and I it tasted so good. I eat them all the time. Many, I've actually heard that before from people. They actually do that. It's 120 calories, and you're living on Gerber. Wow. A ton of vitamin you're A. Never too old for Gerber. We're actually that's right. Hell of a plug too, aren't we? <laughs> I'll have to try it. Later. We're helping like Gerber out. Sam's out today. I hope they, they're giving you some, you know, commercial time. Yeah, a little uh, feedback. Gerber's. Or kickback or something. Gregory Mantel. <laughs> now, so when you're not eating Gerber, well, so this is how you say, despite the 60 hours a day, this is how you do it? You just live on Gerber. That's it? That's the well, secret? Well, you know, I try to kind of stick to that that rule of thumb that everybody has, like eating every like two to three hours. I got it all over my finger. I get a try. Yeah, it's, you and you're looking good. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I can truthfully say I've never licked Gerber off my fingers. It's good though, isn't it? Before. It's surprising. It actually you want some too, James? Well, we have, have it out. Yeah. Uh, you, you, know. you guys can just keep talking. Here, come on. I'm gonna feel bad. Go ahead. Once Take I start eating, things. I don't I'm usually. Uh, hungry. That's good. But yeah, the key. Do you have any more? What else do you have in that bag? Let's see. Well, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of explain some of the things I keep. So I, I will yeah. keep like bananas in there. By the way, if you're gonna buy bananas, the greener, even though they don't taste as good. I was just gonna say that's a damn green banana. Yeah, you you want them green. Like that's the best time to actually eat them. Like they're not sweet or anything, but if you're gonna eat a banana, you want to eat it green. That's what but you just said. But they're not as sweet, so why would I eat it? Want to eat it then? Well, you got the sweet potato you baby can, you food, can dip you know. It in your sweet you gotta like <laughs> balance, you know. Do you sweet put the baby? Just okay, you dip it that's in there. That's a spoon. That's a spoon. Oh, yeah, that's this <laughs> is a spoon. You can like you eat both them together. So and they cover it with almonds. Yeah, and cover it with almonds. So you just gotta keep some like. I'm just gonna options. throw up. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> and uh, and then oh, and then you know like uh, some people keep you know you keep these little rinky dink things in the car. Like I don't keep the rinky dink things. I keep the big boy jugs in the uh, car. So I have like six of them. So water and almonds and baby food. Wow, you're you're too exciting for me. Not only is it healthy, <laughs> but if you get stuck in the desert, you know you're gonna live for. Has it ever days. happened before? Have you ever been stuck in the no, desert? No, but I know it's gonna happen someday. But, but if you're ever out in the Mojave, you've got your bottle of. I've got James Franco, did you see that movie? 127 hours. He was uh, stuck in. I want to see that. I really. Want you needed more it. water, though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, I have, I have six gallons. I have six gallons in my car. Six, six, six gallons, gallons right now. Yeah, yeah. I always keep like six gallons in my car. Well, like in the back seat or in the passenger yeah, yeah, seat just or in the, the back trunk. Seat. Or, I actually eat power bars in my trunk. Does that count? No, I opened the trunk. It was like the, 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 my trunk was my grocery store. There you go. Until you have That's baby great. food, it doesn't count. <laughs> That's the rule. How, how many baby food do you keep in the car? I probably have like 20 of those in there. It's interesting when you go on dates. So I was going to say, how do you, do you have to explain this? Like, <laughs> yeah, I just like, hey, um, we're going to have a little like garden picnic, you know, and I already romantic, bought everything with me. In a romantic me. moment, look over and see the baby food and you think, <laughs> like, oh, you have kids. Who's this guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. He puts them in the but baby so, seat. Yeah, so how much? So he was saying how much time he actually spends in the gym. But how much time do you actually spend in the gym then? If you're working 60 hours a week, how many days well, and weeks and? Yeah, yeah. Probably when all is said and done, how much time do you spend in the gym every day? Mm, 30 to 45. Well, 30 minutes to an hour in the morning, and mm -hmm. usually I train one body part at a time. Uh, you know, one per day. So I usually spend an hour and a half. To up to two, you know, if I decide to throw abs in in my evening training sessions, so. Uh, every, so every time you're in the gym, it's two hours at a time. Yeah. Wow. Except for in the morning when I do cardio. So. And here and there we'll train together too. Yeah. We, we we train about the same same strength, mm -hmm. not the same endurance, but <laughs> but about the same. But wait, strength. but he's spending two hours a day in the gym. So how do you spend two hours a day in the gym? I I actually probably go in in the morning, and what I'll do, I actually will spend thirty minutes doing cardio, and I'll bring a book in, and I'll read it, and then I'll head off to work, no, and I'll read come the back. Book on the treadmill, or whatever. <laughs> I'm one of those people that brings the <laughs> book on the treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> I brought my laptop before efficient. too. That's always your interesting. Your laptop on the yeah. treadmill. Oh you can God. do it. You can do it. I have never seen anybody <laughs> in my life on the laptop in the gym. I can see the iPad. You take your freaking laptop? That's pretty impressive. Well, yeah, actually. yeah. I think it's it's the next wave that's coming. We're starting to trend here. I can see you on the Crackberry, but you're on the laptop. And later we're going to show everybody the flanking trend. So <laughs> yeah, there you go. this is perfect. But but yeah, no, no like, yeah, I do basically. It's on Facebook, wasn't it? But it was, yeah, yeah. Uh, when all is said and done, him and I still probably train about the same. Amount. About the same. And so anyone can do that. You can do that too. So I'm doing the math. So you're two hours a day and 60 hours on the job. and what, So you yeah. just don't sleep at night. Oh. 
No, not really. <laughs> but you could do this too. You have like you could wake up in the morning and what you probably spend like a few minutes like watching the news. If you just got up, went for a little jog, thirty minutes, came home from taping throughout the day, and then just went to the gym for an hour, you'd be doing just what we do. Yeah. And okay, and so are, now, what body parts and stuff do you do? Are you following the exact same regimen as he does? Like what what days of the week and what parts and. I kind of split it up. How many days a week do you usually work out? Uh, six to seven, you know, and I, mm -hmm. I do, you know, I don't do it by Monday's day one necessarily. It just depends on what my routine is. But, like, for me, it's, like, day one, you know, I'll do back. Day two, I'll do chest. Day three, legs. Day four, shoulders. Day five, buys and tries. Day six, forearms and rotators. And then day seven will be, like, an abs day, or I might just go back to day one. You know that's why it's not day one's not always Monday. So you, and you don't take any days off. Uh, if I if I really need it, I do. So. And I guess you're not following his routine because you had to ask him what it was. Well, no, I mean I, I do about I still do about five five to six days a week, but I, I think the gist is is that everybody probably thinks he's spending like four to five hours in the gym every day, and he's spending just as much time as you and I could spend in the gym. Yeah. He's working too, dude. <laughs> so how many hours a week do you work? Like, uh, I mean, every week is different. You live different. in the gym. I don't think you yeah. work. <laughs> every, every week is different. I mean, I go on auditions and, you know, I do, you know, I set up photo shoots. A lot of times I set up my own shoots if I want to do fitness covers and I just get a hold of the, of the right people and shoot for covers and, you know, kind of take control of your own destiny. And I also do acting on the side. So it's always just investing into my craft and going on auditions. And okay. And so you two have also started your own organization. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um. We were just kind of around talking one day, and and uh, and I I heard actually working out together one day. Yeah, working out together one day, and and I remember James saying like "fit for Christ," and so I went on Twitter, and and I was already taken, so we got. Oh, it's taken. It's already taken. Wow. Yeah, it's not nearly as cool as ours, yeah. but <laughs> ours is called "fit for Jesus." Fit for Jesus. The number yeah. four. So you're both very godly. I have a hard time believing it in his case, but um. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you know. So I'm what, what is this about? What, what is it? Are you raising money, or is it a charity, or what? Or just awareness, or what? What are you? It's really, uh, you know, uh, I feel like you know God's kind of put on my heart that you know, at being in the fitness industry, you know, that uh, you know it's a great way to impact people. We love fitness, and there are people that are in the industry that love fitness and love Jesus just like we do. So it's kind of a way just to impact people that, you know, are already, you know, already love the Lord and already follow the Lord. So, um, and just a way to, you know, just um, introduce people to, you know, just fitness and Jesus at the same time. Like, I don't know what words I'm trying to get out of it. You're probably going to have to edit me here. <laughs> and we're just like honestly gathering. We're in the gathering stage yeah. right now. We just decided to start this up and kind of bring to be, uh, bring together people who are already in the fitness industry and also like fitness fanatics and people who you know are believers and kind of have like a forum where you know there's there can be like you know people just friends to know each other you know do you think there are a lot of people in the fitness industry who are believers or is that yeah i would say i mean I, i've been surprised coming across them so Okay, well, you'll find out now that you yeah. started it, right? Yeah. And I guess the, the final point I'll make, though, is that you said that, too, that you're not the, or you felt like the religious right, or how did you express it to me the other day, was like the uh, religious, or the conservative church, or, or you're not necessarily representing the conservative church, or what, you're more... Well, I, I think more or less what, what we're just trying to do is represent what Jesus was trying to do. And, you know, the, you think about, like, the, the people that you see Jesus hanging out with in the Bible, and they were kind of the the outcast they were you know you see that he was hanging out with the tax collectors the the prostitutes the people that really no one wanted to be around those are the people that jesus was around and i'm just saying that sometimes in the church today you don't get that feeling you have you feel like you have to fit a certain mold to go into it to a church and we're just trying to say that everyone is fit for jesus yeah. all right well i'm going to hang out with the people who eat gerber so, <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys, we'll be right back.
And we are back. Joining me now is fitness pro Tony Cantanzaro and his wife Tina. Great to have you both here today. Great to be here, Greg. Tony, nice, nice to, to meet you. Here. Thanks nice for having us. And I should say at last, too, because we kind yeah. of, I mean, I've followed you off and on or kind of over the years. I knew who you right, were right, right, and right. never quite had you on the show, but yeah. you were nice enough. Actually, I should say, too, you just flew and literally landed at LAX literally and came just landed, straight yeah, here. So. Just, just, just landed. I put, I put away my red cape and I came right over. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think you needed it. And by the way, I haven't seen the beer before. Is yeah, that yeah. you? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually shooting tomorrow with it in Malibu, so I'm doing, doing a photo shoot with uh, George Contaxis, actually, and mm. we're doing a Hercules kind of photo shoot ah, okay, okay. with me and Tina and some other girls, and uh, it's going to be a great shoot, so I have the beard for that. Then I'm, then I'm shaving it, then I'm shooting with Jason Ellis oh. during the week, so I'm here to do some photo shoots the whole entire week. So. All right, well, we got you now, and, uh, <laughs> you and got I was saying, now. because you know, you're on the cover of all those romance novels, right. too, and uh, so if anyone doesn't recognize you, yeah. or do you ever have the beard on the romance novels? I, I never really had the full beard. I had a little bit of scrub, yeah, a little, a little bit, bit of yeah. scrub in the beard, but uh, you know, the full beard is kind of a completely different look. It actually changes my whole look. So if I want to go rob a, you know, rob a bank, they're not going to know it's me, you know, so it's okay. <laughs> and, and you two are sort of a husband and wife team with this as well because you've done some of the yeah. covers together, right? Yeah, yes. We, yes. We've been together for, uh, what, what, since 1993? On and off the romance covers. Real, yeah, exactly. real life, and oh, on the yeah, exactly. We, well, well, we're the real life Tony and Tina. <laughs> yeah, you've yeah. heard of Tony and Tina's wedding. We had the real Tony and Tina. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> not about the fighting though. Yeah, just sometimes, you know, sometimes. Pots hey, but no offense, but that's kind of the stuff. stereotype for Italian, right? That I don't know whether yeah. you're Italian, but I know you yeah. are. Yeah, both, yeah, we're both. Both, okay. Um, right, there's a little more fire and drama sometimes with Italian. <laughs> well, Is that true? Like there's, no. there's fire. There's, there's blood. There's, 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 there's everything you could possibly. <laughs> we'll try not to have as much fun. By the way, you know, this is after this. I don't know if you saw the previous. The, the guys were eating Gerber. Do you ever yeah. eat Gerber? No. I just have to ask that. That's for I, babies. I was saying, oh, <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. I don't know. I'm, I was going to eat some, but now I won't. Once you said that, now I can't eat it. Yeah. But, well, uh, well, like Arnold said, you know, that's for babies. You know, when you get older, you got you know, you have to drink beer. You know. Oh, so, is yeah. that what you do? Is that your fitness <laughs> routine? What regimen? I really don't beer? like beer. I, I don't like any alcohol, at, you know, at all. Actually, but you know. Well, me it's either. Good actually, I, know I don't drink. So yeah. that's uh, yeah. So yeah, I don't. You know, I don't drink. If I did, my head would be spinning and. Be all over the place. But since you're Italian, mm -hmm. and I love Italian food, it's only my favorite food in the world. But I noticed in your newsletter, though, you had a, a recipe section or food, and yeah. and I was curious. I thought mm -hmm. this is going to be pasta, or it's going to be healthy. <laughs> and it was Tony's Whopper. Tony's Whopper. So you're, yeah. Although, like, you think you ripped off Burger King, no offense, but uh, but so you're Tony's living Whopper. on Whoppers. Is that healthy? I don't think it, you should be eating it's the a, Gerber, man. I'm telling you, forget the. It's a great cheap food, actually. My my like my Whopper, I get organic beef, and I you know get all, you know organic roll, and I put it together, organic cheese it comes out delicious I mean I'm a great cook <laughs> so it is healthy it's very it's, healthy. it's very I mean if well, you eat beef it's totally you healthy eat it every day though yeah well I mean we don't eat meat every day we like you know like once or twice a month you know we, we oh, once barbecue or twice a Tony a month? burger once or twice a month we'll have a Tony burger yeah oh, okay 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 yeah well that's not that doesn't yeah. sound too extreme yeah, you know, like you know, like we live it up, you know. Can't always be on a diet nonstop, you know. Oh, I like that so, way of thinking. You know, yeah. Now, Chris told me he keeps almonds in the car. Do you keep almonds in the car? I love. We love nuts. I mean, we. <laughs> <laughs> Peanuts. I'm finding almonds, a trend uh, here. Okay. To yeah, yeah. We told, you know, I could totally relate to that because we love, we love almond butter, peanut butter, uh, you know, macadamia nuts. We eat any, all kinds of nuts. Kind of yeah, any kind of nut. But no Gerber. No, 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 and uh, now he keeps a lot of water in the car too. Do you have six gallons of water in the car? No, six gallons are not. <laughs> Definitely not. So his trunk is a water my... tank, and it's just like you know, the... <laughs> well, you know, if you ever get stuck, you can just fill a radiator up with that. You know, yeah. you don't have to worry oh, about. Okay, that's yeah. a good point too. Or drink it from the radiator. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a little green, but it's healthy. You know, what are you gonna do? As long as there's no rust in it, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Alkalizes the body a little. Oh yeah, bit. that's not. Another thing. <laughs> I think I'll stick with the baby food. I don't know. Um, so let's see. So you've been you do the photo shoots and everything together, but you both have a healthy lifestyle and yes, all that. So yes. is it hard keeping up with this guy? Or not? No offense, but since he is in the fitness industry so much, I mean, you look great um, and you're fit, but no. but is it hard to? Actually, you know, no. I'm so used no. to it. So. Or you're the motivation for him. You 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 tell no. him to. <laughs> is it hard <laughs> keeping up with her? Well, she actually just. I just she, lost uh, over 30 pounds. Yeah, she finally. Five months. Oh, so congratulations! I gained a lot of weight last year. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, I'm in the process of losing 30 pounds, so I could relate. <laughs> I need to get back down to. Well, just, thank uh, you, but I'm kind of over the the yeah. previous Greg, and that was another lifetime. But, uh. Yeah, same here. <laughs> that was another lifetime ago. Well, it's not really yeah. so much losing weight. It's just it, it's, it's basically just by getting in shape mentally and physically.
physically and spiritually. Yeah. That's really what it's all about. You know, everybody wants to get in shape. Every, you know, everybody looks at the scale. Well, I want to lose 30 pounds, but it's not about losing 30 pounds. It's about saying to yourself, well, what do I need to be as far as body fat goes? You know, the, you know, is my body fat way over the limit? Is my is my is my eating way over the limit? Like, what am I eating? You know, how am I thinking? Am I am I positive or am I negative? Mm -hmm. So it's basically all about you know, like the four the four basic rules are basically cardio, weight training, you know, diet. And stretching; those are the four basic rules of good health. Four basic. Now, when we were talking the phone the other day, you mentioned mm -hmm. to you know positive thinking. Positive and thinking that. is so. How is that? That's a big deal. For that you, is though, all that. of it. Because you, you know, because you can go to the gym all you want. You can eat. You know, you can diet. You can do all these things. But if you don't see yourself with the body you want, you're not going to achieve it. Mm -hmm. You have to see yourself with the abs. You have to see yourself having the V taper. You have to. You have to see yourself with the look that you want in order to achieve it. I have to see myself driving a brand new car if I want to get a brand new car. Mm -hmm. So I have to envision that I can actually have that car instead of just saying, well, I want, a, you know, I want a brand new car, but you know, I don't take the steps to get there, basically. People want things, but they don't want to take the steps to get there. Mm -hmm. it's, very, you know, it's, it's very easy for me to get to here to there, but I have to think about, I can't do it in one step, I have to take steps to get there. So people need yeah, to focus that's... on the steps to get there. And once you focus on the steps to get there, it's not hard at all. Yeah. That's know? a good point. You know, I heard somebody say that once more on the career side, and I, I don't know if you think about it, it applies as well to the fitness side. He was talking about like somebody who had a certain mm -hmm. job, his goal, and he looked at how somebody else who had that job currently, the job he wanted, how they got there, and then kind of reverse engineer it. Like, oh, first they had this job, then they went to that job, then they got that job. Mm -hmm. But like you said, he didn't just mm -hmm. say, oh, how do I get to be head of the company? He right. broke it down into steps and right. did it that way. And, but the same thing with fitness. Yeah, you look at. It Not, applies to how, everything. You know, how do you, yeah. It applies to fitness. It applies to making money. It applies to getting over if you you know if you're sick if you have cancer. It applies to anything and everything in life. It's basically just positive thinking. That's truly really what it's all about. If you think positive, I I truly feel like you can move mountains if you really think positive enough. I mean, I'm a really truly big believer in that. Yeah. So have you been using some of that for positive thinking and visualizing when you said we were working on weight loss and that? Yes. Do you like visualize yes. how you... I saw what I wanted to look like back in January mm -hmm. and I'm almost at my goal. I'm not there yet, but I know what I want to look like. So I'm I mean, she looks, I mean, she looks I'm fantastic. You know, yeah. I, she looks fantastic I, like no matter what. I mean, <laughs> she's, she, I mean, she's, she's 40, say it. 40. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's in her mid forties. I just yeah. turned 40. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, we don't look like, you know, like, like two uh, middle-aged people here, you know? So, no, no. You know, we take care of ourselves. But it's not even just taking care of yourself, like I said, you know, eating right and stuff. It's not really about it's that. Your it's your attitude. If you have a good attitude and you're happy, you're going to look good. That's the bottom line. You're going to look good. You're going you're gonna to feel good, too. You know? So people get too, you know, they, they get too meticulous on their diet. They get too meticulous on how much water they're drinking, what they're drinking, um, you know, how, much, you know, how much cardio they're doing, how many hours a day uh, are they training, what's their training regimen like. They get too involved, too scientific. You know, the, the guy that walks around in, you know, in a gym with a chart and writes these things down is in horrible shape. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, bottom, the bottom line is you have to see yourself with the body you want and take the steps to get there, and that's basically what it is. If you well, write you stuff are down. living proof of that. Well, thank mm -hmm. you very much. I'm sorry we're out of time, but thank you. <laughs> So much, Anthony Catanzaro Thanks so much, Greg. and Tina. Thank you. Thank you for flying in from New York, and they're still awake. I can't believe it. So. And I'd also like to thank Chris Wolf and James Ellis. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time.